All right, folks, here we go. So this is the April uh, Birchbox Man, Birchbox Man unboxing, uh, April 1st, April Fool's. And as you can see, my my beard, much like a Pokemon, has evolved. Uh, it's spring, it's a little warmer, and I kind of got tired of having the same look. I started growing the beard back in July. It kind of came into its own finally uh, by September. So now I, I decided after six months it was gonna time to change the look up a little bit and the mutton chops thing has always worked for me having a fat face so a little bit of a modification in the look just in time for the new birch box. Sorry about that. Very small technical glitch. Um, I, I am now I, I have been converted uh, over spring break. I have been reassimilated into the world of Apple, and I am now running on a Mac desktop. And learned that uh, Photo Booth, uh, straight out of the box, stocked, uh, does not mirror items. So the first unboxing video that I did with it, everything was flipped around, and wanted to make sure that you know I could actually show you things like the Birch Box. I uh, could show you items, and you you would actually be able to see them. Um, so wanted to stop and make sure that my auto flip was working. So, yeah, uh, God, I, I gotta say, uh, this, this month's theme is, uh, it's, it's, it's hitting me in the feels. Um, you know, obviously on Sunday, the last seven episodes of Mad Men air, um, and I, I can, I, I always get accused of playing my cards kind of relatively close. Uh, if you've known me for a while, um, some of you know me way, 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 way back. Um, my my grooming standards uh, kind of change depending on the crowd that I'm around. Um, I, I kind of soak up the vibe of the group. Um, so when I when I tend to get into weirdo space, uh, I am very comfortable with my hair being longer, with the facial hair, with kind of looking a little out there. Uh, when I kind of get into more of a clean cut professional space, um, I, I tend to have these urges to cut my hair short to shave to kind of conform which you know for me is great working in IT um, you know even the professional people for the majority uh, tend to be slobs so no problem there but Mad Men has always been one of my secret triggers um, if, if you follow back in the progression of the videos you can see that right when season seven started last year that was right around the time that I pulled the trigger on the last big makeover Cut my hair, shaved down to a goatee, kept that going for a few months. So I am I am curious to see what's in here. Uh, additionally, uh, I'm not even sure there's going to be an entire box in here. So the the scourge of the luxury item choice program continues. In this case, I got the email, and I I was not uh, one of the lucky people to get in by the time. I was able to, you know, stop my work day and get to my email and log in and everything else. So I had to call in um, and make my choice, which was for the uh, the whiskey stones, which, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you can never have enough whiskey stones in your freezer, and the simple syrups for mixed drinks. Uh, the problem was I got an email from Birchbox a few days ago basically saying that the luxury item shipment had been delayed because they ran out of whiskey stones and or simple syrups. So I'm not even sure what's going to be in this box. I thought the whole box was going to be delayed, but then they sent me the email saying that the luxury items only were going to be delayed. So I have no idea what's going to be in here. But um, looking at some of the other things, knowing now that the theme is Mad Men, I am very, very curious. So I am going to open this up. And of course, you know, I, I love it. They even have this kind of Art Deco 60s theme on the box itself. I, I may actually keep this just for storage of excess grooming items. So, first and foremost, we have our usual card. This one, not written by the cat. Gentlemen, whether you wear jeans, khakis, or slacks for your daily grind, Mad Men has plenty to teach you about style. First and foremost, the clothes might not make the man, but they sure do tell his story to the world, which is why a tailored suit jacket can improve a man's career prospects, and a drawer full of crisp white shirts can save him from ruin. Join us as we raise a glass to the seven seasons of impeccable style. Cheers, Birchbox Man. And we have the picture of the classic Don Draper gray suit. 
with the tie. And the first thing is some sort of an insert card. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh, it's a mini poster, maybe, or something. Uh, ah, okay. A guide to sport coats. Eight iconic outfits from eight years of Mad Men. So, what do we have here? Uh, we have the Ad Man in a Tux, Soiree at the Stork Club, the Resident Bear Brit, Boardroom Fisticuffs. I, I have to be careful as I'm talking about this. Um, I, I finally goaded my partners into catching up, and as, as I talk about the series and kind of think about it, I have to keep in mind where they are in the bigger narrative of the show. So, there's some things that they haven't necessarily seen that I don't want to spoil for them. Uh, but, yeah, the... Uh, uh, yeah, Lane, boardroom fisticuffs, my god, that was that was an amazing scene. I am going to miss this fucking show big time. Uh, Guest of Honor from the Surprise Birthday. Uh, the Account Man from the Accounts Man from the Surprise Birthday. Uh, the Upstart Copywriter. Sales Pitch to Topaz. Uh, the Senior Partner, partner 1967, the SC&P Christmas Party. Husband on Double Duty, the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, 1967, and the West Coaster from Business in L.A., 1968. So we kind of have the little poster here with all of the outfits. Nothing directly related to the box in terms of merit, but still kind of a nice little send-off. So let's see what we have here. So the first item that we have is... Pearlized Body Wash, Illicit, from Billy Jealousy. And so, Pearlized, I'm sure that probably means, oh yeah, there it is. Speaking of Mad Men, you can't get any whiter than that. It's got a nice scent to it. Nothing exceptionally overwhelming. Uh, this is actually a Billy Jealousy product that I might use were I not transitioning towards organic soaps. Um, I, I recently got myself into a little Dr. Squatch addiction, which led to other soaps. So for the time being, I'm kind of getting away from body washes, but that uh, being under three ounces, yeah, it's one ounce. My, my friends at the TSA Gestapo shouldn't give me grief if I put this in a, a doff bag. So might use that eventually. And of course my Monthly moment of lux, opening up the tissue paper, seeing what's inside, pretending that I'm not completely poor, and oh Christ, another scent from English Laundry. These are why I'm poor. Uh, I, I have yet to smell a bad English Laundry scent. Uh, as a matter of fact, today I'm wearing Notting Hill. Um, I, I picked up a couple, picked up Rivera, picked up Notting Hill. And this one is called Cambridge. Oh, there we go, Cambridge Night. And I'm already taking the smell. Oh, very nice. Uh, very, very citrusy. Um, I'm, I'm definitely picking up some citrus. Picking up a little wood. Even the inside of the package smells good. God damn you, English Laundry. Uh, and the only other thing we have is. A checklist. Yes, apparently they know their customer base. They've given me a checklist of all the fragrances that I need to have, or at least I need to see if I have samples of. Uh, Arrogant, do not have. No jokes, please. Uh, Rivera, I do have. Number seven, do not. Royal Aqua, don't have, but got sampled and really, really want. Uh, Tahitian Waters, sampled, really, really, really want. Uh, Notting Hill, like I said, that's actually the fragrance that I'm wearing today, and Signature, and we will just go ahead and bypass on the women's collection. The other thing that we have in our little package of tissue is Lip Balm, Lab Series, Pro S Lip Balm. Uh, I could definitely put that to use. Like I said, spring has sprung, so we're kind of in that weird phase where it's high 60s, low 70s, uh, but it's going to be getting warmer, warmer, warmer very quickly, sunnier, sunnier, sunnier very quickly, and definitely some lip balm with SPF would be a good thing. Uh, the, uh, 
<laughs> birch box. Birch box. Birch box. So, anyone out in internet land want a pair of Tommy John quick draw fly boxer shorts in a small? Okay, so since I'm on the MacBook, I can give us a little bit of a of a picture here. Birch box, look here. Birch box, look, look. Does anything about this? Does the jiggle alone not tell you? Small. The clothing profile that I filled out when I started my subscription over two years ago. Did I ever, ever tick small? Oh, guys, I, I'm to the point. I, I have to laugh. I, I really don't know what else to do. I mean, seriously. Um... Small trunk, dark slate. So here's the problem. Being a fat person, we tend to hang together. You know, we kind of make our own little gravity fields. I don't even think I know any thin people in the area who could fit into this. So, seriously, someone in internet land, um, if, if you want to barter uh, something, something from Birchbox for these... Tommy John small boxer briefs that I could probably maybe cut the legs out of and fit around one of my thighs. I could, I don't know, make like a fat man's garter or something. I, uh, first box, I, I am once again like a white girl at Starbucks. I can't, I can't, I can't even, I just can't, I can't, I totally can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, that having been said, I am really, 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 really hoping that the whiskey stones and the uh, the the whiskey stones and the syrups are in the mail, because um, I seriously, kids, I called, I got, uh, I, I it was like verbal, there was email. Why the fuck am I getting small boxer shorts when I don't even wear a small or have small picked in my my size profile? I'm at a loss, kids. Um, I, I think that's going to be the theme of this year of subscription uh, until you guys actually get this service together and make it fly right. I, I don't know what else to do here. I, I am at that much of a loss. Congratulations. Uh, the, the person who is never at a loss for words is at a loss for words right now. So uh, to recap the box, uh, we have the completely useless Tommy John cool cotton trunk and a small uh, we have the Lab Series Pro LS Lip Tech Lip Balm. We have the English Laundry Cambridge Night. And we have the Billy Jealousy Pearlized Body Wash. So, uh, unless in the mail sometime very soon, uh, some whiskey stones and syrups show up. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> Maybe that's the idea. I, I just had a thought. It's April 1st. My my hope is somewhere the kids at Birchbox, they're going to see this video, and you got me good. April Fools. You sent the fat guy who wears a 50-inch pant, small boxer shorts, 3XL boxer shorts, and you send me a small. April Fools. Awesome, Birchbox. So... Uh, I will put a referral link down here, the usual thing, plug, 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 shill, 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 gimme, 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 uh, subscribe, uh, the usual stuff, um, referral code probably going down there, assuming that I actually remember to put it in place. Uh, we will see everybody in May, hopefully with at least a clothing item that might fit me, if not something that I can actually use. Have a good month, folks.